Hello and welcome back to another episode of Unsung Hero. This week's hero is going to be Giannini, his second in form. Really, really great card. I think you're going to see him a lot in uh, foot champs as a super sub. Look at those stats, really amazing. He's also 6-3, 4 star, 4 star. Reminds me a lot of Alsoma in the past, who also had like really great in forms. I built this team around him, a couple of guys from the Saudi League and then uh, some icons to make the chemistry work. But let's get into some games and see how Giannini performs. And the first opponent has a, a pretty good team. Not a lot of special cards, well just one, uh, Lala. But uh, besides that, really, really great gold cards. Probably the best normal gold cards you can get in this game. Kante, Aubameyang, Pogba, all really, really dangerous. But my team isn't that bad uh, to begin with. So uh, I could probably... Uh, win against this guy and I start off pretty good uh, through ball Alabat can't finish but really I love Alabat he's so good I remember him from FIFA 17 and 18 I always used him in some teams really really good card and then Giannini gets his first goal great finish on that left foot some great football that's what you want your striker to do finish these kinds of chances because in foot champs uh, you obviously don't get a lot of these open chances so uh, you really want to finish them. Then some nice football again. Giannini doesn't really get attacked. Ball roll. Can't finish. A great save from his Courtois. But I mean still a very nice shot. Then we get a corner kick. Doesn't come anything. Uh, but we get the ball back. Bit of football. Giannini to Alabat. And a great shot for a silver card. I know you can, you can hit a shot like that with most uh, top tier cards. But. With a 74 rated silver card from the Saudi League. I think it's a pretty nice goal. Uh, I was completely dominating this guy. He wasn't created that uh, that many chances. But uh, you know how FIFA is. 2-0 up is the most dangerous lead, uh, people say. And then he hits this shot. I hate these kinds of goals. He doesn't even look at the goal. He turns around and he, he 360 no scopes me. Um, pretty bullshit goal. I mean, this guy is just using what's available to him in the game, so I can't be mad about that. I'm just mad that it's still in the game. I, I hoped it would be uh, patched by now, but it's not. And then Elabat is going to show us some magic. Here, he makes complete fool of Lala, complete fool of Varane. Too bad he can't finish, but what a card. He was the MVP of this game. He then makes a mistake here with Ramos. Giannini gives the ball to Stoikov, and he's my favorite striker this year. He's just, he's great at passing, great at scoring. I love him. I use him in every team now. And yeah, we actually win this game 1-3. Really, really good win. Giannini was all over. Finished the game with a goal and two assists. Which is really nice. But actually, Elabat wins the man of the match. Even though he only scored one goal. Really good game. Uh, but let's see uh, at the second opponent. The second opponent has, well, this is the best team uh, I've probably faced in a long time. You're never going to guess which uh, strike he's going to sub off. It's definitely not the bronze guy. Uh, yeah, first <laughs> first moments of the game. He already scores a goal with Ronaldo. That's just what Ronaldo does. Dangerous, most dangerous striker in the game. But I was never in this game. He was completely dominating me. He was a lot better than me. I have no problem uh, admitting that. And I wasn't playing the best football here. I thought I could actually make a run with Alabat. And then just counter passes. One, two, and it's a goal. That's pretty, that was pretty much uh, how this game went. Uh, I actually managed to get a goal back here. Giannini proves his worth. Sol Campbell can't push him off the ball. He gives the ball to Stoikov. And Stoikov makes a pretty amazing goal. And then this guy kept on doing this. Just passing the ball around. Mostly on his own half. Uh, just yeah, waiting. I get it. He, he probably wanted me to rage quit because he was completely dominating me. But I'm not the guy that rage quits a lot. So I just want to play FIFA. If he just played normally, he would destroy me completely. But he kept doing that. And I, I didn't really care at this point anymore. But then when he passes the ball uh, forward, he actually makes a goal immediately. Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah. Pretty bad, but uh, you know FIFA. FIFA has kickoff goals, and 
uh, yeah, I get a kickoff goal here. It's pretty nice football for me, but kickoff goals are just a thing. I switch, I subbed on Leon Bailey for a lot bet. Stoikov here shows what he can do. And then Giannini, great attacking positioning. He's just there. Scores a tap-in, which are really easy to do. But a great striker is actually there to tap the ball in. Uh, I end up losing this game 4-2. I He dominated me. This guy was way, way better than me. Uh, kudos to him. Giannini finishes the game with a goal and assist. Uh, pretty good stats, but I was never in this game. Just look at the stats. Never, never in this game. So after two ge uh, games, what I can tell you about Giannini, I think you're going to see him a lot as a super sub in uh, in Weekend League. He's really good, he's really strong, fast, 4 star, 4 star, obviously is ideal. You'll probably never see him start a game because of the league and the nationality. But I reckon because he isn't, he isn't that uh, expensive, you're going to see him a lot. Uh, he finished, I think, uh, let's look at the stats here. I mean, two games, two goals, three assists. That's really, really, really good. But that's going to be all for this week's episode. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the episode. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.